So Elon Musk wants to purchase Twitter. He says that it needs to be in a private sector. He sits on their board of directors as of right now. But if they do not allow him to purchase Twitter at $54 a share, he will most likely walk away. What will happen to Twitter once he leaves? We'll never know until it happens. But there's this fight in the news about what they are and are not allowing people to say via these social media platforms. The argument was, if it's freedom of speech, how can you then censor what someone writes? Well, the Constitution gives you freedom of speech. But as you use a platform that is designed by an individual, you have to go by their rules and regulations. Just like any job you work. It's called company policy. And you must follow it. Don't follow, get fired. Don't follow, get put in social media jail. Don't follow, get kicked off the platform. All of these outlets are doing the same thing. So be careful what you say and be careful what you do. Because somebody's going to see it, somebody's going to read it, somebody's going to hear it. If Elon Musk is not able to purchase Twitter, nine times out of ten, he is going to move on and most likely start his own platform. But he wanted to purchase a platform that was already put in place. So he didn't have to do all the work. And that's how most of them do it. They let someone else create the brand, build it up, and they come in and buy it. Keeping the rich richer. Just some food for thought. It's your girl, Candy.